So today we're looking at Pasco's 3-axis gyroscope. Um, and here we have the gyroscope set up already. Um, I have the gyroscope itself, which uh, includes the base, the rotating axle, the gyroscope axle or the arm, um, the gyroscope, the disc, and the weights. Um, in the front here, I have this removable weight as well. I'm actually gonna take that off. I have two rotary motion sensors. Um, I'm using the wireless one up here, and the reason I'm using wireless is so that it can spin freely in a circle. And I'm using the blue passport one here um, on the bottom. And the we call the passport one is the wired sensor. I'm just showing you it uh, this here here connected on the bottom. So the passport one is connected using uh, the two pulleys. So I'm actually going to lift this up. So you'll see that the this one pulley is on the gyroscope, the rotating axle, and the other pulley is on the passport rot uh, the rotary motion sensor. Anyways, I have a rubber band that's connecting the two. So it's very simple down here. And then up here at the top, it's uh, there's a lock. This is the arm that connects the two together, so I can I have to lock it into place once I get the you know, get enough tension on that rubber band. So I lock it into place here. At the top, I have our I have the other adapter and what this rotary motion sensor is doing is uh, there, well there's an arm that's connected to it and it's connected to this pin that's on the gyroscope and we're, with this one what we're doing is we're able to check the angle here so uh, the basic setup and if you look at the user manual uh, you need to balance out the platform so you balance it on the table uh, follow the instructions and once you do that you also want to balance out the arm so you'll see here um, that I have the weights and everything set up so that if I just let it go it stays relatively balanced I'm so okay if it's not perfect but as long as you know it's relatively balanced and you'll see like if I add a weight I mean right away it's, we know it's out of balance uh, the one thing here is um, on the back of the the angle chart um, I have this uh, this metal bar here and this is to prevent the the, the big disc from hitting the bottom. So I'm gonna just kind of set this down so where it'll help provide some tension to help it from falling. Um, so with our setup, uh, today we're gonna to be doing looking at some of the nutations. So the, the way that the gyroscope is spinning with the weight. The reason we have this counterweight or we're adding the counterweight is this get, lets us know how much, this way we know how much mass is being, uh, is being affected after we start spinning the gyroscope. So the way I'm going to start spinning it is I'm actually going to be using a spring, uh, a string here. So I have two knots tied. Uh, one of the knots, I'm going to just loop it around this tooth right here that's on the wheel. I'm going to spin the wheel to wind it up. All right, so that's how we're going to wind that up. I'm going to open up capstone and uh, connect the two sensors. So I already have them connected. Um, on the chart here, on the left, I have the angle of the wireless one, so the top rotary motion sensor. And on the, the y axis, sorry, on the x axis here, I have the angle of the blue rotary motion sensor. So that way, when I hit record, here, I'll take the weight off. When I hit record, all right, and I use a grab tool. All right, as I move it up and down, I can see the change, and if I move it left and right, I can see the change. All right, so I'm gonna hit stop here. I'm gonna delete that run. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the string on the gyroscope. And keep in mind, right now, I have no weight that's on the wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. So if I hit record, all right, there's a little dot in the center here, but nothing's really happening. It's still just balancing itself out. So I'm going to add the weight. I'm going to angle this or put this around 30 degrees from the horizontal and just let it go from rest. And now we can see a pattern on our screen. Gonna hit stop and I'm gonna hit record again. Oh, I'm gonna grab this. I'm going to hit record again 
and uh, same thing around 30 degrees and I'm just going to give a little push this way so you can see here the pattern and I mean even if we look at the disc we can see the same thing kind of happening where it's going back and it's going forward but it, it keeps jumping backward if I hit stop again I'm going to do the same thing this way I'm going to give it a little pull back this way And we'll see like this, you know, we rotated it backwards and we can really see like it's it's fighting the angle. So this is showing uh, the power of the gyroscope where this weight, it's not even, I mean, the movement of the disc, it's not only preventing the, the disc from falling forward with the extra weight, um, it's also applying a force in a direction. And if we assist it in, in that course, and it's you know going smooth or it's going more in that direction, or if we try to resist it, then it starts shaking really, really hard. Um, so yeah, that's a quick overview of the gyroscope. Thank you. Should we do it?